Hey there, welcome everyone. Welcome to the Room of Echoes here in this high ceiling bathroom if this is your first time here. You're going to find a lot of videos about home repair, DIY projects, all kinds of things like that. This video is about uh, how to make your bathroom fan run more efficiently and how to clean it. Because uh, what I was finding was that we were not venting the uh, humid air fast enough in the bathroom, in the other bathroom. And I figured out it was because the fan was all clogged up with some uh, gunk. Uh, I don't know what kind of word gunk is, but you know what I mean. And, um, and I just saw that this is the same here. I wanted to take you through this process as well and show you what I'm talking about. We'll clean it out and then I know it's going to run much better afterwards. Here we go. We got this fan here and you can see all of the crap inside the fins. And what it has done, it has narrowed the gap uh, between, between the fins, not allowing as much air through, right? You can, I can scrape some of this off. Look at that right here, just scraped it. So what I want to do is remove this fan. It's just going to be uh, the electrical uh, plug here. Let me uh, get a flashlight on that so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, the electrical plug there, a screw here, a screw down there and then one back here behind that cobweb and the whole thing should slide right out take it into the garage where I can get this thing in a better spot where I can scrape all the crap out of here maybe rinse it into the the uh, sink that I have in the garage and then install it back in so we can watch me do that and then we'll this thing shouldn't take too long to accomplish Okay, the electrical's out. Now we can start unscrewing this. Well, you know what? I'm not gonna be able to do this too easily holding the camera at, at the same time. So I'll get these screws out and then I'll pull this thing out. All right, getting it out now. box. We'll clean that out before we put this other one back. Okay, I got this thing on the workbench. So, uh, you know, really, you can kind of see what, what we got in here. And the screwdriver is what I'm going to start with to go in here and scrape this stuff loose. You can see it's coming loose. Right? See that? We want to get it all out. It's going to take some time. You're not going to watch me do this whole thing but you're going to scrape in here and you want to get the, the, the front leading edge too because what's happened is, is that this stuff gets moist there's some moisture from the shower that gets on these fins and then the dust comes along and then the dust sticks to that moisture dries up and turns into like this hardened cake or crust or whatever you want to call it you can also follow up with an old toothbrush um, a, a, for a very firm bristled brush whatever you can but you want to get all this stuff out of here okay so uh, the other thing because uh, y you can also take a rinse this too you can put this in the in the slop sink which I'm gonna do as well at the end and run the spray gun through here making sure I don't get the motor and uh, rinse it out as well so I'm gonna keep at this when I'm when I'm all done I'm going to show you what it looks like. I know that you probably, it's therapeutic to watch me take all this stuff out of here, but I, I don't think you want to watch 30 minutes of this uh, going here. So I'll come back, show you what it looks like after I've cleaned it all out. Okay, here we go. So it's a lot cleaner in here. Let's see if I can get this light down here. I'm going to lower my, my light. There we go. A lot cleaner. It's not perfectly spotless but the majority of that stuff's out of there I spent enough time on it and uh, I'm gonna install it again and turn it on I'm sure it'll be just fine okay get this electrical back in come on there we go okay I'm gonna turn the uh, switch on now
All right, I got the cover reinstalled now. It's all done, easy but necessary project because like I said, we were noticing that uh, the uh, humidity was not uh, getting evacuated out of the bathroom the way it used to. Found the problem, likely fixed it. We'll see what the showers look like in the morning and see how it, how it happens in here, but it already kind of sounded better than it did before. So I hope this helped you if you're having issues with your bathroom fan, if you're having different problems. Just mention down in the comments below what they are and I'll respond back pretty quickly. Thanks for watching, hit that subscribe button and bell notification icon, and I'll see you next time.